here in Washington is Nina Shong. She's uh, founder of China Money Network, a new media company focused on investing in China. She's also the author of Red AI, Victories and Warnings from China's Rise in Artificial Intelligence. Uh, Nina, you know, I was thinking about uh, this pandemic, all of us cooped up inside. What would we do without our devices? And it got me thinking just how important are robots during this COVID era? Right, for sure. Uh, the COVID pandemic has definitely accelerated uh, robotics adoption across many different applications. In terms of uh, service robots, we've seen delivery robots being used in hospitals uh, and quarantine hotels, and uh, we've seen AI being used to uh, better develop new drugs and also to assist doctors to better uh, uh, scan, uh, see, uh, better, uh, better see the results of uh, CT scans. And uh, also uh, Chinese factories are uh, using more uh, uh, industrial robots in their factories to manage uh, more volatile overseas demand. You know, in many ways, uh, we've seen the entire landscape uh, change because of COVID, people working remotely, the advent of these Zoom meetings, uh, the list goes on and on. You know, the pandemic speeding up the adoption of a lot of technologies. We're talking about robotics in the medical field and factories. Do you see it moving in other areas as well? I mean, what are we starting to look for in terms of the future? Well, uh, we we should uh, we should be actually um, uh, understanding that uh, the changes or the increased uh, robotics application uh, adoption I was describing is actually part of a bigger trend where uh, we're seeing increasing AI and robotic adoption across many different sectors, from healthcare, pharmaceutical services uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, smart factories. So uh, we're going to see uh, that. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, industrial applications uh, in 5G-assisted uh, smart factories, and as well as, you know, every aspect of our lives, uh, self-driving cars, uh, your takeout might be de delivered by uh, self-driving uh, vehicles, and uh, uh, your homes and your devices will all become more smarter going forward. You know, China seems to be out front on a lot of these cutting edge technologies. Uh, you, you write about that AI, you just mentioned 5G. Where is it uh, in the landscape as we look at the global environment when it comes to robotics? Right, I want to say that um, uh, there have been a lot of uh, uh, talk about how advanced China uh, is in terms of uh, uh, AI application. But the key is uh, here is about China's strength in application. Uh, we do have to recognize that China uh, is not as advanced in terms of fundamental research. Uh, you know, the latest uh, AI uh, uh, technological breakthroughs, uh, such as uh, OpenAI's GPT-3 last year, uh, those, uh, you know, are still coming out from Silicon Valley. So that are, those are the, the weaknesses that China uh, still have. But indeed, China is very strong in terms of uh, AI application. Uh, but I see a lot of space for cooperation between the U.S. and China in terms of deepening uh, AI and robotics application uh, across all the sectors we're just talking about. Nina, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.